Welcome back guys to 4 Wrestling 6th of December 2021 WWE Raw Review and I have been told that this fed needs to go at least 10 minutes so strap yourselves in for this fucking ride from hell it's not the plane ride from hell it's the Stevie's Raw Review from hell because dragging this out the 10 minutes for me there was there was a hundred different things a hundred there was nothing worse on this planet to be honest well maybe a 20 minute Raw Review but Brother, brother, let's dive in. We kick off the show. We've got a steel cage match. We have wee promos before the match. We have Big E and Kevin Owens. They've, they've done this in recent months. They're trying to make it a bit more edgy. Oh, we're going to cut promos, look directly down the camera. But no, you, know, you know what the real problem is here? What's that, Steve? These two fucking suck. Kevin Owens and Big E. Like, right, see back in the day, let's just say 10 years ago, right? 15 or 20 or fucking 25 or 23, right? Whatever year you want to pick, right? See the world champion kicking off the show against a guy who's supposedly a main eventer? That would be a fucking match. Inside a steel cage, you know, this is like a Stone Cold against a Kurt Angle. This is like a Rock against a fucking Jericho. You know, this is like Triple H against fucking Shawn Michaels. This is like Big Match John taking on fucking Kurt Angle. You know, I could go on Randy Orton, you know, taking on fucking... Brock Lesnar, you know, you, you know, and this is what wrestling's become, guys. It's fucking Big E against Kevin. They're, they're, they're trying to get you to care. Nobody cares. Big E does a big ending off the top rope. He crawls outside. He wins. Out comes Seth Rollins. Um, and then out comes Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley obviously pissed off about how things have went. And then he ends up battering them on. You're thinking, oh... So, we've got our four main event guys here. Are we going to see anything throughout the show? We only see one more thing, and that is Bobby Lashley leaving the arena. And then MVP's like, you don't mention his name. You don't mention Bobby's name, man. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. And it's like, what happened to stuff that was like, you know, throughout the show? They did a couple of months ago when Miz was champ. Well, I say a couple of months ago. Fuck, that's probably... That's more. That's like at me any time. Fuck hell, that was like nine months ago. But you know what I mean? They did that whole timeline thing where Bobby was giving Miz the timeline. I mean, it kept you intrigued throughout the show. This is just fucking garbage, you know? And see me trying to remember what else happened on this show. I'll try my best. Um, we had the the, the Raid at RK Bro tournament, or RK Bro tournament, right? Uh, first match, we have the Street Profits defeating AJ and Omos. Thank fuck. I see if I had to sit through another Omos and AJ against Raid at RK Bro, I think I would have killed myself. That's just being completely honest, but it looks like those two split up. Styles needs to go solo, he needs to be in the main event, he needs to be challenging for the belt, he should probably go to AEW, even though AEW is pish, but you get my point. I mean, AJ Styles against CM Punk. They've done, I think they've done, not that they've done all they could in WWE with Styles, I mean, you could bring other people back. Like, Styles against Edge, I think would be a great match, you know, but instead, we're not really getting that. We're getting... Miz against Edge, which is alright, but we've seen it 10 years ago, you know, like 11 years ago, and shit like that, but who knows. Um, out come Queen Selena and Carmella, Carmella's got her new wine fucking br um, brand, who gives a fuck, uh, Nikki Cross here in action against, I think it was Selena or Carmella, doesn't matter, Nikki Cross loses, they head backstage, someone asks for Nikki Cross's autograph, turns out it's no Nikki Cross who wants, they want the autograph, eh? It's Jerry, the King, Lawler, because they're in Memphis, Tennessee, so it was good seeing the King, even if he is looking very decrepit, but yeah, it's sad, they're all looking decrepit these days, anyone who is half fucking relevant, it's all the jobbers that are fucking looking half no bad, but yep, that's the way the L, L cookie crumbles, um, then, in our other match, the Alpha Academy defeat the Mysterios, that sets up the other, the final, which is going to happen some point next week, um, then we have Dewdrop attacking Bianca Belair, and if there's one thing I hate, right, if there's one thing I fucking hate, it's this Dewdrop bastard. Oh my fucking god, I hate her. I hate, I actually hate the cunt with a passion. It's just a, it's a fat mess, right? You can demonetize us for that YouTube, but it is, it's disgusting to look at. Oh, it makes me sick just looking at it, man. Bogging. Ugh. Yeah. Let's get on there. What the fuck's going on? Uh, meanwhile, we cut backstage. Liv Morgan's cutting a promo about tonight's main event. Oh, she got a text message for Trish Stratus. Oh, it is as a T and it says Trish Stratus. I could edit any one of my contacts and says, Oh, look, they're up, text me. Oh, 
Um, then we cut backstage. We have Finney Mac and Austin Theory in the building. Well, I'll say in the building. They're just backstage. It's the same shit as last week. It's fucking awful. McMahon tells Fury to go make a name himself. Impress me, Fury. Then we have Finn Balor against T-Bar, or is it Mace? I don't know. It's... Okay, here it is. Never mind. <clears throat> it's one of those fucking jobbers. Um, and then, basically, fucking... The big man goes out after Balor wins, attacks Balor, and takes a photo of him. Yes, that's his gimmick. Did it to Jeff and shit like that in previous weeks. Jeff Hardy, I think that's a subject for another day. <laughs> we already made a fit, so go check it out. But, it's like... How's attacking Finn Balor, a fucking bum, going to impress McMahon? You know, like, would it not make more sense when, like, Bobby Lashley was leaving the arena, like, the alpha meet, like, this fucking built as fuck guy, you know, he just wiped out, like, three main offenders, like, attack him or something, but no, I'll attack Finn Balor. I mean, he didn't have to be successful in his attack of Bobby Lashley, but he could have put up a half-decent fight against him, you know? But that's just the way the cookie crumbles here, guys. It's fucking garbage raw. Um, and yeah, but probably had another women's match, but I don't remember. With 24-7 stuff, Dana Brooke essentially gets saved by Reggie. Ah, uh, this was awful, as it always is with the 24-7 title. Miz makes his way out to the ring, says that he's known Edge for 15 years. He basically calls Edge out to the ring. Um, Edge comes out. It's a decent promo for these guys. I mean, it was never going to be bad. It's alright. And then basically they set up a match for these two at, um, day one. So there's that. And then, basically, guys, we move in to our main event. I, I, I could have missed something here. Or maybe I haven't. I don't really fucking know, to be perfectly honest. But hey. Who knows? But yes, we, we basically did like a 17-year flashback. Fucking back to the a Raw main event for 2004. Which was Lita against Trish and I don't give a shit. Liv Morgan and fucking Becky Lynch had lesbian porn in the ring and it, and it still wouldn't have been fucking as relevant or fucking as iconic. Well, maybe it would have been like maybe that's me. That's, maybe that's me dishing it too much. No, yeah, it probably would have been. But you, you, you get you get where I'm you get where I'm, you get where I'm coming to here, guys. Huh? <laughs> no pun intended. But fuck's sake. This match, who gives? It's in the main event of Raw. It's just like, no, 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 no. Becky Lynch wins. It's nowhere near Lita Trish. I mean, fucking, that match will be remembered for more years. I mean, this is just a fucking. See this week's Raw? See come fucking tomorrow? Or uh, 10 minutes from now? I'm gonna, I'm gonna know hee haw about it. You know? I'm gonna know approximately fuck all about it. You know, they're setting all these matches up for day one. What's this day one, pish? Day one of it, the, the fucking raw marathon. I honestly, don't get it. Like, it, it's so it's so fucking bad. It's it's laughable. Like, Miz against Edge was like the only alright hang on the show. You know, I mean, all right, Riddle and Orton will come. Well, Riddle did a couple few funny things, but then it makes you think. Like, this guy's like thirty seven and he's acting like he's fucking sixteen, and it's just, it just doesn't work. Yeah, it's still good, like, it's, it's alright, it's definitely one of the better things on the show, but at the same time, guys, it's it's really not good. But anyway, Becky Lynch retains, um, what's ha did they announce anything for next week? I, I don't really know, I mean, at least at SmackDown we'll pro we might, we'll pro might get Brock, hopefully we get Brock, you know, or if we, don't, if we don't get Brock, we'll fucking riot, but in terms of 8 out of 10, I mean, I, I, I really don't know. Honestly, I do not fucking know, because, I mean, I'm pretty sure we've never gave a raw above a five on this channel, well, apart from the old ones, of course, which are fucking brilliant, by the way, even the war even the bad, I say the bad ones, even the ones that aren't that good, are still getting, like, a six for us, I don't know if we've ever gave an old raw, like, below a five, because you're still, there's still great stuff on bad shows, see here, when is there, there's not even great stuff on bad shows, it's, it's just shit, it's just bad stuff on shit shows, and the whole thing in general is a shit show. Like, what the damn is this McMahon Austin Harry thing? Like, wh wh where's this going? Like, this guy's a fucking bum. You know what I mean? And, like, you've got McMahon on the show, and that that's as far as the involvement goes. Absolute pish, guys. I'll give it a two out of ten. I, there was some, uh, there was some funny stuff. It was good seeing King. Fun, funny stuff, you know. The the Miz Edge stuff was all right. Um. Bobby Lashley looked like a unit in the opening segment, but apart from that, guys, it was really, really, 
really, really shit there. But anyway, till next time, we made the 10-minute barrier, brother.